हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आवर सब्जेक्ट विल बी स्पाइरल उन गस्केट व्हाट यू डू नॉट नो अबाउट स्पाइरल उन गस्केट लेट अस स्टार्ट दिस गस्केट कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ स्पाइरल उन गस्केट इज सेमी मेटेलिक कंप्राइजिंग ऑफ ए स्पाइरली उंड वी शेप्ड स्टेनलेस स्टील ग्रिप एंड ए नॉन मेटेलिक फिलर मटेरियल सच एज ग्राफाइट और पीटीएफ also on the gasket is a solid outer ring used for centering and controlling compression this minimizes the risk of material creep through over tightening for the toughest condition spiral loom gaskets are available with an additional inner ring this protects the windings particularly the filler from contamination or attack by product traveling past the pipeline joint you can see two pictures i put for your easy reference industry standards require that gaskets are color coded this is to identify metal and filler material listed in asmi b16.20 regulations the image showing the required markings for compliance here is the basic information for spiral wound gasket different parts and name of spiral wound gasket the outer and centering ring has a lot of informations like manufacturer stamp like winding material and filler material information about the standard it is complies with here it is asmi b16.20 nominal pipe size it is made for 2 inch and 600 pound is the pressure class outer ring material is stamped on the inner ring when other than carbon steel so you can see in the inner ring it is also stamped 316l and the outer ring is also stamped as 316l now the image you can see is for the stacked gaskets below shows how the outer ring color denotes the material winding material the top row you can see carbon steel is for silver in color 800 or 825 material is white and the 316 ss is green in the bottom row you can see the stripes white stripe is for ptfe and ceramic is light green stripe whereas duplex material has no stripe at all here are some manufacturer nomenclature it is a similar as i show you in the slide before the manufacturer name is written on the outer ring the ring material is mentioned if it is other than carbon steel manufacturing standard asmi b16.20 is also mentioned nominal pipe size or pressure rating is also mentioned this is actually i have taken from a different manufacturer so you can see how different it could look in a gasket these are some combination of material used in spiral wound gasket for material winding strip generally stainless steel 316l or different other grades like 304 309 are being used at the left column also for alloy gaskets you can see in cola 600625 even titanium gaskets are also available as a metal winding strip for filler material generally we are using treated asbestos fiber graphite ptfe ceramic aluminum as recommended for the service guide ring material can be carbon steel also it can be stainless steel of different grades monel nickel in color you can go through this table if you need to know more here are four types of sample i put for you different types of gasket prepared by some company for your reference only the first one is isw1 This is spiral wound gasket which has no metal ring. This style is suitable for tongue and groove face connection and sometimes for male and female face connection but not suitable for ordinary pipe flange of raised face. This style is commonly used for valve bonnet, pressure vessels etc. The ISW2 spiral wound gasket has metal inner ring as inner ring works as reinforcement to prevent internal extrusion and inward buckling of gasket winding caused by compression this style is suitable for male and female face connection but not suitable for ordinary pipe flange of raised face the isw3 spiral loom gasket is with outer metal ring 
outer ring works as a centering and gasket properly between the flanges limiting the bolt load at proper compression and preventing external expansion by compression for ptfe filler gasket this style is basically not recommended due to possibility of inner buckling during compression this style is most common for ordinary pipe flange of raised face the fourth one isw4 spiral wound gasket has both metal outer and inner ring this is the most strongest one as inner ring works to prevent the internal extrusion of inward buckling the style is specially recommended for the following cases for flanges nps 24 and larger in class 900 nps 12 inch and larger in class 1500 nps 4 and larger for class 2500 ptfe filler material is being used for this category for socket welding lapped welding neck and internal flanges this style is suitable for pipe or pressure vessels using raised face flange connection here are some uh, tables actually it is mentioned in asmi b16.5 also mentioned in manufacturer's brochure so this is only for your example how you will collect the dimensions if you need to really inspect some gasket it is complying to the standard or not you can see the columns d1 d2 d3 and d4 these are some dimensions which you can get it from this cage over here you can see d4 is the centering ring outside diameter d3 is gasket outside diameter d1 is inner ring inside diameter and d2 is gasket inside diameter this is all specified how much it should be for each and every class and each and every gasket or flange sizes so this is for your reference only so that's all for spiral wound gaskets knowledge refreshing video i put the minimum but essentially required information over here don't forget to hit the like button share my channel to your friends who needs to know signing off so men thank you